If you are interested in gamifying your course, the first thing that you're going to need to do is to add Badger to your course in Canvas. When you log into your course, if you don't see a Badger option in the left hand course menu, you would want to click on the settings option and then navigate over to the navigation tab. Scroll down until you see an option for badges and once you see that you want to take it and drag it up to the top menu so that it is now part of the course navigation. Be sure that you scroll back down and click save and you will see that now badges is one of the options that you have available to you in your left hand course menu. To create your Badger account and to be able to create any badges that you want, click on that option. The first time that you do it, you will have to agree to the terms of service and click continue. It will ask you to authorize that particular app and you want to allow that or authorize it you will get a message that says authorization granted and you need to reload so let's reload this page and now we have Badger set up so that you can use it in your individual course the next step in the process is to create an issuer the first thing you'd want to do is click on the create issuer button then you are going to go through and add in all of the information that you see here. You need to make sure that you have something in each field including the image field. What I would recommend is that for issuer name you use the course code. For your issuer description you can say that you are just issuing badges for that particular course. For the website URL, I would recommend that you use the website that is associated with our Canvas instance, which is https colon forward slash forward slash toro dot instructure dot com. And for your contact email, be sure to use your institutional email. Make sure the box is checked next to I have read and agree to the data processing addendum and then you can select any PNG file that you have as the logo for your particular issuer. Make sure that you don't use anything that includes the Toro logo or branding in it. Once you click on the new issuer button it will save your new issuer and you will get a pop-up box that indicates that your new issuer has been created. If you click on the X next to the box, you will be able to then go and select your issuer. Once you have selected your issuer, you will be able to begin to tie specific course components to individual badges that you create.